state of California has stopped using Bank of America to issue its benefit payments after reported $32 billion worth of fraud during the pandemic. But one local woman says she's still fighting the, with the bank to recoup money stolen from her. On your side's Christine Lazar has her story, and this isn't the only thing she's dealing with. In her life. Yeah, I mean, she, you know, when you're on disability, it's usually at a time in your life when you're very vulnerable already. Right. And, you know, I reported on EDD fraud from the very early start of the pandemic, and I have kind of a line of communication with Bank of America because so many people experienced fraud and this case is another one of those. This woman was on disability when she was targeted by thieves not just once but twice. Two cards wiped of nearly $20,000. Mary Ellen Aviano has worked in the film industry for decades, and at the end of last year, for the first time in her career, she needed to go on disability leave while she was being treated for cancer. She applied for benefits through the state, which were then deposited on a Bank of America debit card. And so I let it build like an emergency fund, knowing it was going on there. Now and then, she says she would use the card for small purchases until one day. It came up in insufficient funds. And so I came right home and called and they said, no, you've been transferring all of the funds off the, or on the card into another account. Aviano filed a fraud claim and promptly received a letter that she would be refunded the full amount, more than $18,000. She says she told Bank of America customer service she didn't want the money to be loaded onto another debit card. She wanted a check so thieves couldn't steal from her again. But the full amount of her disability was placed on a card anyway. And within days of her receiving it, that card was wiped clean as well. By someone going to Western Union in Sacramento and in one day, every hour going in and either showing a fake ID that said they were me or authorizing something $5,000 every hour. So how did the thieves access her benefits if the card was never in their possession? Cybersecurity expert Kevin Goschok says it's a simple account takeover. Because of all these breaches that occur, everyone's information is out there. Your social card's out there, you, where you live is out there, who you work for, all that information is out there. So they can use that same information that you would use to go sign up for these accounts. They can sign up on your behalf. They can log in on your behalf. Everything had been changed. What did they change? They changed the passwords, the security questions. So Aviano was locked out of her own account. So if our personal information is out there, if everything you need to impersonate me is out there, how do we protect ourselves with cases like this when we suddenly have large amounts of money coming in? If you're setting up a new account, make sure the username you pick is gibberish. Do not use a username that correlates to you in any way, shape, or form, or as a username you've used anywhere else. Use random digits and random letters for the username. That will be much harder for them to find those and, and guess their way into the accounts. EDD now offers direct deposit, which also cuts down on fraud. Aviano filed a claim for her second loss, and this time, Bank of America denied it, even though she had a police report and could provide proof that she was in Thousand Oaks when the transactions were made in Northern California. I want my money back. <laughs> This year, EDD stopped using Bank of America distri to distribute its benefits due to that widespread fraud. But our analyst said the account takeover Mary Ellen experience could happen with any online banking account, including Money Network, which now services EDD. We did reach out to Bank of America, and they have agreed to reopen her claim and take another look. And it's again, she's like, I'm getting cancer treatment. I'm not up in Sacramento taking money out every hour from a... Uh, you know, money, money and, place. And just all the time and effort and stress that goes into trying to get a hold of a big yeah. bank like this and yes. trying to work it out yourself. Well, it's, by the time people come to me, they've already done that for everything. months, yeah. you know? So I'm kind of their last resort. It just gets frustrating that people have to come to you to actually get anywhere with, with these types of situations where the bank just doesn't do the right thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. and lots of times I can get a, you know, resolution very quickly and it's like, well, why could I, but not them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you helped me with that. I had like a four-year problem and yeah. it was fixed in a day. So thank I'm you on for being your on side. your side, Christine. <laughs>